beautiful, majestic, and awe-inspiring. St. Peter's Basilica towers above St. Peter's Square in Rome, each a unique architectural and artistic masterpiece. The second largest church in Christianity is situated in the smallest country in the world, the Vatican. For centuries, the home and official residence of the papacy. Some of the most famous artists of the late Renaissance and Baroque periods have been immortalized here. Designed by Bernini, St. Peter's Square is framed by a number of wonderful colonnades. One hundred and forty statues of saints, each around three meters high, are situated on the beautiful balustrade that in turn is located on the two semicircular arms of the colonnades. The work was completed in 1667. The Bernini colonnade consists of 284 13 meter high Doric columns and pillars that consist of travertina. Even more impressive is the architectural splendor that lies within St. Peter's Basilica. Each year, the cathedral attracts millions of tourists and pilgrims from all over the world. The origins of the dome reach deep into the distant past. According to recent archaeology, the building that predated St. Peter's was built above a highly important location. Around the year 67 AD, the Apostle St. Peter was crucified in Rome during the reign of Roman Emperor Nero. The tomb of St. Peter became an increasingly important place of pilgrimage, despite the fact that the persecution of the Christians ended far later under Emperor Constantine. It was Constantine who, in 324 AD, ordered the building of the first Christian basilica above the grave of St. Peter. The basilica survived for almost 1100 years until its condition deteriorated to such an extent that a new building was inevitable. The controversial decision to pull down large parts of the basilica was the idea of Pope Julius II. The subsequent construction of the Church of St. Peter soon developed into one of the most ambitious projects of the 16th century. Donato Bramante was responsible for the first designs of the new church that contained a massive central dome.
Following the death of Pope Julius II, construction continued under many subsequent popes and several famous architects, plus renowned artists such as Raphael and Michelangelo. The design of the interior of the church is still a breathtaking sight, and everywhere there are paintings, sculptures and mosaics. The Vatican is not only the centre of the Catholic Church, it also boasts more than half a million priceless books and manuscripts and contains the largest art collection in the world. The legendary Pieta by Michelangelo, made of the most precious Carrara marble, is undoubtedly the most famous work of art in St. Peter's Basilica. In addition to numerous valuable art treasures, the Basilica also contains many impressive and fascinating monuments that date back to the 18th and 19th centuries. The five magnificently decorated entrance portals that conform to the five naves of the old and new church also deserve a closer look. On November the 18th, 1626, the new basilica was sanctified by Pope Urban VIII, although construction of St. Peter's Square had not yet begun. But following the completion of St. Peter's Basilica, it was necessary to have a new gathering place for the faithful who came here in increasingly large numbers to celebrate the most important church festivals and religious events. The design of the ellipsoidal St. Peter's Square dates back to Pope Alexander VII and architect Bernini. Since 1506, when Pope Julius II ordered a band of mercenaries from Switzerland to protect him, the Swiss Guard has continued to perform its historic role in the Vatican. Their famous uniform reflects the ancient traditional colors of the House of Medici. St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, its beauty, its history, and last but not least, its unrivaled religious significance for the Roman Catholic Church.